Local Oklahoma School Superintendent says as many as 56 public school campuses were damaged by the violent storms and floods that ripped through the state last month. Now, all seven sites in El Reno's public schools reported damage from wind, water, and large hail. But it was the local career tech that was hit the hardest. Joining me now is our Keela Kellen. Well, Rob, as you can see behind me, the Canadian Valley Technology Center took a direct hit, causing insurmountable damage. This destruction took place only 11 days after the devastating Moore tornado, with all too similar results. With the El Reno campus of Canadian Valley Technology Center left in pieces, Superintendent Greg Winters is working hard to plan for the future. My first reaction was, is, you know, what a shame. You know, it's been such a great school for, for 40 some odd years, 42, 43 years, and then in just a matter of, of less than a minute, uh, you got a lot of history and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears is just, just basically wiped out. Uh, just that quick. I mean, it's it just going to shock, to be real honest about it. It's probably the only way you can survive stuff like that is your body and your brain just kind of takes over. And, and, uh, but the, it was tough, I'll tell you, really, really tough. And while any disaster like this is tough, Winner says he's had the best help he could have ever asked for. You know, I've had great employees everywhere I've been. I've been a very fortunate administrator for 30 years as a superintendent. And, and you know you've got great folks. You, you know you do because you watch them every day, you work with them every day. But boy, you go through something like this and it just redefines how great they are. And while a great staff is working to put back the pieces, some of it may not be salvageable. We've got millions of dollars of equipment inside our buildings and, and uh, it's a big operation, 215,000 square feet in the old El Reno footprint. And, Got a lot, lot of equipment in every square foot of that thing, and so a lot of it's damaged beyond control. Not gonna, we didn't even try to get it out. It was no good. And while cleanup and construction is still underway at the Canadian Valley Tech Center in El Reno, a temporary home is being put together here in Yukon at the former John Holt Chevrolet dealership. Thank God we've got this facility. If we didn't have this facility, I don't know what we'd do. We'd be spread out all over. Canadian County, probably running a program or two here or there, whatever. A challenge being met head on to build back better than before. One of the things that, uh, that I really want to try to do is design the safest technology center, not just in the state of Oklahoma, but in America. Making things safe while making do with what he has. This is, this is going to work. We're going to make it work. This EF5 tornado was a record breaker, stretching 2.6 miles wide, leaving several homes and businesses in total destruction. And while people in the area begin to recover, their plans to rebuild are already underway. So Keila, what are the plans to get classes going once again at the Tech Center? Well, Rob, Dr. Winters did say that he already has some of his classes held in various technology centers in the area, and he plans to have the majority of his classes held in Yukon starting in August. All right. Thank you so much, Keila. You're welcome, Rob.